Hey, you guys. <laughs> Trying to bring a little bit of extra energy to the morning. I'm gonna be real with you. What I wanna do right now is Saturday morning. That's why nothing is done. And I'm wearing my house sweatshirt. <laughs> what I really wanna do is climb back in bed. It's already 10 a.m. I've been awake for, no, it's not even 10 a.m. I've been awake for about an hour and a half. Been laying here, checking my emails, looking at TikTok, watching face, or uh, looking at Facebook and watching YouTube. And that's what I wanna just lay back down and do. What I actually wanna do is like take a hot shower, shave my legs, get ready for church tomorrow, and then get back in bed. <laughs> that's what I want to do. But this room is kind of a disaster. I kinda had a dream last night that I reorganized my whole room, meaning took out my giant Lego table. I'll show you over there. We haven't, we haven't shown the bedroom. And so I think today is my day to clean it. I just don't know what to do with all the Legos. I don't know what to do. But I'm also gonna clean my makeup desk and clean all my sheets on my bed. I am not breaking out in hives the more often I clean my sheets. I did my pillowcases like a, not even a week ago and that has helped to kept, cut down on the dust. And I also think I was allergic to the feathers that were in the down pillow that I had because I got rid of that and that helped. And all my kids except for Chelsea are still asleep. So it's not like I want to go downstairs and like make a ton of noise and I don't really need to. So I think we're gonna just work in here in my bedroom and then I will deserve that hot shower. So join me. Let's just get this room clean. But first, I'll show you all the messes. Okay, here's the bed situation. The nightstand situation, I spilled candle wax and I still haven't kind of scraped that off. I don't want to ruin my nightstand. I just got, like, why? Why, why is that on my desk? I don't know. <laughs> and all my medications and my junk drawer. I don't know that I'm going to necessarily, maybe I'll pull out garbage from here, but most stuff that's in here just is in here, it stays here. But like, I can put this away. There's the down pillow, that's the culprit. I need to actually just probably throw it away because all of us are allergic to the, to the feathers in it. Open the window to the gray, cloudy, foggy skies. So that's wonderful. There's a good angle for the dust. I'm letting you see all the stuff, you guys. The makeup table, it probably just needs a good wipe down. Take everything off, wipe it down. It's all pretty organized. The hairbrush, literally, you guys, I clean my hairbrush every day, but I have a lot of hair. So this is gonna be easy to clean. Just need to take everything off, wipe it down, and then put it all back on. The windowsill could probably get a little dusting as well. I think we had a kid in here for about five minutes last night and they attempted to make a bed <laughs> and then gave up. We're too uncomfortable and then they went back, but I'm not sure why that's there. I'm not sure why someone's shoes are here. That's probably Chelsea's. No, those are Jason's shoes. I don't touch Jason's side. Aside from that blanket, I'll put that away, but like his mess, I don't deal with. So he's on his own for that. For him watching later, I'm not your maid. I already do the dishes, the laundry, keep the house clean, straighten up everyone else's messes. I'm not your maid. You can clean up your side of the bed. That's not my mess to clean up. You guys, this is the dump. This is where everything goes that we don't know what to deal with or is too big and bulky to deal with. The yoga ball, the little triangle, I don't even know what they're called. This is a little, you know, mattress mat where people come to visit or whatever, or the kids play on it out in the playroom if extra kids are coming. Pillows that no one actually wants, but they just get tossed here. Books that I'm keeping that I just tuck into the corner. This is our, um, our rocker from when we had babies. And Jason sits here and watches movies. So now he's covering it with a blanket to protect it, I guess. I don't know. And then that's the other side. And yes, we have a giant 12 foot table in our bedroom. It's a situation. I, like, I can't, it, we, anyway, I can't really explain why there's a Lego table in our bedroom, other than that's where it fits. So, we also have a Star Wars cabinet. <laughs> Jason has his Legos on display here. He has his little, I don't even know what they're called. If I tried to guess, he would make fun of me for getting them wrong. Um, you can't even see that one, it's too dark, but I'm actually going to get rid of some of this decor. This is just old stuff that I used to have in my the main part of my house. My sister-in-law made this. I'm keeping that and then my sister made those but I'm gonna maybe take it apart and like decorate with it differently or something but and that's cute Kaylee. Anyway I hate this cabinet here but I moved it up here when we redid the downstairs and there's good books in the cabinet but as you can see 
kids keep bringing me other books. So we just keep adding to the pile. all cleaned off here grab some disinfectant wipes as well after I kind of gave it a dusting so just kind of cleaning everything off and then I have to put all this stuff away these are pills that I'm not even taking anymore cleaned out some of my brushes that I don't even use put those back brush and this guy is now gone I kind of combined them yesterday and didn't throw it away this is coconut oil I use that to shave my face so it kind of just gets tucked back in the corner my little nail kit I have like bobby pans and clips in here. Some extra little lotions. I need to use these more often, so I'm gonna put those up front. These are from the dollar store. I need to kind of use them up. So my flat iron, I actually have like burned my table. You can barely see the little yellow stains on here. I need to get one of those little mats. I think they actually sell them at, Do at Target in the dollar spot right now. I need to get one. So I might go and look for that later because Jason gets mad at me when I burn things <laughs> with it. And I have some palettes that don't fit. They were actually supposed to go right here. Tuck those right back there. Put the lotions back. Actually, these pills are prednisone for Jason for his asthma and diazepam for my vertigo. I am not throwing those away. Nope. Okay, put my little perfume tray back. This is my favorite one right here, my Michael Kors. Got that one in Hawaii. And I have my travel one. Now I can take that one back with me. I had this jar sitting over on the windowsill, and I think I have a new use for it. I have all the scrunchies over here, and I put them on like a little ring so I can keep them all attached. But look, I can do this, like that. And then I can take these guys, keep these on a key ring too, and go like that, and go like that. So then I can either put that up there, or I can actually put it down here in the corner and kind of see how it looks. We kind of get everything put back together. This is for travel. I need to put that into my bathroom travel bag. This is an extra from our vaccine cards. If you don't have these for your vaccine cards, they're very useful. Just came in a pack of like eight and I didn't need the other ones. All right, my little mirror here <laughs> needs a good little cleaning. So we're gonna go ahead and spray her down. All right, makeup table is now cleaned. I do need to find like a little something to put these in. I'm thinking like one of those like file holders that go on the top of the desk. I think I might actually have an extra one downstairs and I can like stand them up and even like just set it on the floor because I do do my hair here but they're kind of, I don't like the look of it. With all of the rest of it nice, that looks a little janky. The literal elephant in the room, like literal giant mess. I'm so close to just like bagging it and not doing this section, but it'll make the most impact. So here we go.
So what I would like to do is take this down completely and just like even set it up against the wall. And it does come apart. We've bolted the top to the bottom. So we could do that. And that's the reason why it's in here. We brought it up here during the winter a couple years ago after we made it, after the summer. And now it is a bugger to get back outside <laughs> for just two and a half months until we have a bigger house or whatever. This is just a Lego table. So sometimes when I clean the room up like this and kind of get it straightened up, then the kids kind of have a new interest in playing with the Legos. And we are on winter break. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe the younger two will come in here and start to maybe kind of play with these because I don't want to like take them all apart. Like some of them have lost like their original like parts, like the big boat and stuff, but they still play with it. But I don't know. I don't know what to do. For now, I'm just going to wipe off, shift everything down and then wipe off this section. table is all cleared off and now we have the floor. These are my nice pillows that go on my bed but they keep being used for our window because they don't, I don't know, Jason gets really sensitive to light and so I'm going to take all those pillow co covers off or stick the actual pillow into the wash because I would like them to go into my bed. I also have this mess to figure out. These technically belong in here so I think we're going to put him back in the man cave. He's no longer like sitting here and doing his work for his brother. So you're going to take this stuff, really knock something off. We're gonna take this stuff and put it back in here. Oh, look at that, more Lego stuff. It's actually probably a train track set. All right, so I have a hard time with books. I've already sorted a lot of these books before and a lot of these I'm gonna keep for grandkids. They're like good little board books, little picture books for grandkids that I loved having. These are books that were from Ashley's bedrooms. These are scriptures right here. These are some of my favorites. I love Ivy and Bean. So we have like the whole collection. The rest of it is downstairs. So I'm just keeping these guys up here. I'm gonna try and get Ashley to put them by her bed and read those more often. And so I have this whole area back here cleaned out and all done over here. I do have a stack of books that I'm finally willing to part with. And there's like easy readers and we've read all the Junie B. Jones books. So we're just gonna be done with those along with the rest of this. This is all getting donated. We can't have these pillows, even though they're really nice. They're like Hotel Grand, they're from Costco, I think. We're allergic to the feathers, like all of us are. So I can't have those kind anymore. Also found <laughs> Chelsea's wool socks. I gave these to her for last Christmas and then we didn't get snow because we were in Hawaii so I didn't think to pull them out until this year and I went looking for them and I could not find them anywhere. They were literally underneath this table. I have no idea why. Okay, so now the task is going to be to vacuum. I have put all, all these extra pillows in here. I think what I'm going to do is put them inside the... Where did it go? It's in here somewhere. Oh, it's in my pile to wash. Pile to wash. <laughs> This is our little like pillow mat. I actually have a video on that as well. It is quite easy to make a pillow mat and it's quite a popular video for some reason, but I think I'm gonna wash that and then put all the pillows back in that to kind of protect the pillows. And then I'll put that whole pillow mat back here in the corner, kind of like fold it up a little bit and tuck it away. Maybe I'll even put it into a plastic bag. That way it'll kind of protect the pillows because these ones are all good for the pillow mat. It's just kind of annoying to store it and, I, and it just keeps getting dusty and then you can't use it. So I'm gonna store it a little bit better and I think it'll have more use, but I'm gonna wash all of that stuff there and donate all of that. I'm exhausted <laughs> but I do like a little bit more of the aesthetic here clean space not so cluttered I might move the books to the other corner so I can't see them but for now they're okay oh I'm exhausted but I've only got half this room vacuumed but it feels good I might have to go through that and get out all the Legos I <laughs> vacuumed up I tried so hard to get them all but okay now I just need to vacuum this side of the room and I think my sheets are done so I'll get the bed made and leave that so I did the bathroom but I didn't film it you're almost to the top she's my window wiper my mirror wiper has been since she was like up to here 
don't want it. Right? So I did not film cleaning the bathroom. I just did the countertop and I vacuumed the floors, wiped out the toilet, and vacuumed the little area over there. But that's all I've done in here. And all I probably will do. Thank you. So my bed's not wonderful. I have a hard time with pillowcases and pillows. Like I said, my children take the pillows, we take the good pillowcases, and then we sleep on the shams. This shouldn't be slept on, but it happens. We buy new pillows and they're all nice and perky and flat and nice, and then we sleep on them with the pillow shams on. Drives me nuts. Can't keep a nice bed. We're also waiting for the pillow covers for these two pillows, and then I'll put those on and I forgot those two pillows in the window. So those will go in the next round of laundry. And now here is the room after. I'm very happy with how it turned out and I'm very glad that it's done. <laughs> I am glad that we have a little bit of open space over here. I can see Kaylee being able to do her yoga here. Jason could actually come up and do his exercising up here now. There's space here to do that. I just hope it doesn't become like a big pillow fest again, which I can actually see happening. But I do hope the kids come back to use the Lego table. And I just want my room back, you guys. I just want my room back. Also, peak, I did not. I did not. Not my responsibility. So the rest of the room is cleaned up. All right, now that the room is clean, I'm gonna use this spray. I forgot that I got this for Abby a long time ago and it, it smells so good. I've always wondered why her room smelled so good, but this is why. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this everywhere. And then I'm gonna go take a nice hot shower. I think I earned it, don't you think? Also, if you give your kids the right kind of promptings, like if you straighten your room up, I will vacuum the floor. They'll spend an hour cleaning their bedroom. So we're gonna take this. You guys ready for me to vacuum? Yeah, because you didn't do anything. Yeah, I did. Okay, I'll vacuum her floor. Just so you don't think that I'm like non-existent in this video, this is me before my shower after cleaning for three and a half hours. And this is me after my shower, after cleaning for three and a half hours. And actually it was like four and a half hours. It's already 1.30, I haven't had anything to eat today, so I'm gonna wrap this up. We will see you guys next time, and you can kind of see everything that I do junk today. I have a whole trunk full of stuff to go to donations, and trash, and the whole house got cleaned. So stay tuned, and I'll show you all that next time. Take care, you guys. Happy cleaning.